Here is my module 3 flooring calculator video walkthrough. Program logic requirements. Learn to produce this code that is logically and syntactically correct according to the specification requirements. There are no logic or syntax errors in the code. And as you can see, there are no errors in the code. As all the errors were fixed with IntelliJ's corrector. So there are no errors. Learn to produce the code without unused variable methods, import statements. Learn to produce the code utilizing the dry principle and reason you use variables methods, but same as ECT in the code. And there are no unused ads, there is double way double width around new engine length. With Mention length with yep. and there's a public say double get length return length the public say double get width term width return length this with double get area there's a public string that is being used as well There are no issues with coin signature. The code is clean and easy to read. And, you, and the code is clean to read and does f meet standard expectations. And because it is pretty easy to read, the code um, it is easy to read the code. Until it's easy to follow, and you know what it's going to return, and what it's going to try to do, and right here you can see that it's going to get the length of the room, the under length, the under width, and your keyboard to close, the out print length, the width the length. And the price per square feet and right out here it out prints calling the two string which is the area which is the the area of the carpet and the price so it factors all that in and then all classes attributes and methods is probably the program compiles and runs with no errors let's see i haven't tested it myself so let's see Okay, seven. Okay. Yep, it does. Program always pay the corporate costs. Seven. All right, three, five. Okay, let's just say, what's it say for? And the price per square foot is just say two dollars. Yep, and just press this finish with exit code one. So, there you go.